holy time capsule flashback. The time machine here at the New England Motorcycle Museum has done it again. Listen to this thing. This is an absolutely pristine YZ490. Justin Barsh's mechanic, his father restores bikes. That's where he got it from. And uh, his YouTube handle is King DeBerry, K-A-N-G-D-E-B-R-O-I. You'll see a lot of pristine bikes restored by him. This is an extremely low hour original that he took to the next level. It's like an NOS motorcycle. It's like a brand new motorcycle. He took the engine apart, rebuilt the motor, all the gaskets and seals, as you can see, all the new gaskets on it. And it's got three heat cycles on it. It's part of a collection of 82 YZs that we just bought into the museum recently, a 60, 80, 125, 250, and 490. And this is the crown jewel of the collection. Look closely, look closely at all the hardware on this thing. Look closely at the hardware. Look at this thing. No strip bolts, no stripped out anything. Original grips, original levers, original bars, original tank. Looks like it just came out of the box NOS, as does the seat, side panels, and exhaust. No dings or dents on the frame, the pegs, the shifter, everything is perfectly mint. The swing arm looks like it just came out of a box. You cannot restore a bike to this condition. Uh, it has to be a, a very, very low hour original to look like this. Bikes like this are very, uh, very significant to the restoration market so you can see what it was supposed to look like brand new. This is like it just came out of a hyperbolic chamber from 1982. This bike sold at auction uh, for about four or five years ago to the collector we bought it from. I'll be straight up honest with you. He paid $7,500 for it. That's before the big bore two-stroke market went through the roof and before the COVID prices and inflation. You could not replace, you could not build this bike. Well, very few people could take a bike to this level. Um, there's a couple guys on the West Coast and of course King DeBerry here on the East Coast. Us at the museum here, we, we can do this, but it's extremely First of all, to get all the NOS parts, you have to have, you can't, you can't buy replacement kickers for this thing. Look at this thing. The kicker is like it just came out of the box. Uh, the, 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 the pegs look like they just came out of the box. All the, all the hardware, none of it stripped off. Just an impeccable machine. This was a significant motorcycle, Yamaha. This was, I'm telling you straight up, this was the golden years for Yamaha. They had Bob Hanna and Brock Glover. Brock Glover dominated. The, the big war scene in the early 80s. 1981, he won the AMA National Championship. In 1982, in the 500 class on this bike. On, in 82, they, for some stupid reason, they switched him to the 250 class, which didn't work out too good for him. So they put him back on the 490 in 83. Of course, he won the AMA National Championship in 83. Uh, Haken Kralquist won the FIM World Championship, which the FIU, if you do your research, the FIM is... 111 nations uh, that are eligible to race it from, I think, 11 different continents, if my memory sets me uh, correctly. So that's a true world championship, was won in 1983 on a YZ490, very similar to this. Um, the original exhaust, the original baffle, the chains and sprockets. Look at the, come around this side here, Kenny. Look at the attention to detail on this thing. Look at the master link on this thing. Zoom in on that. Um, painted yellow on the back so it can be easily checked by a mechanic even when it's dirty look at the chain guide the chain guides brand new the sprockets brand new the spokes and wheels look brand new the tires are brand new it's just absolute perfection take a look at the front forks too um the original kaaba logos on them the forks have been re rebuilt resealed reoiled this bike is ready to send over to farley castle or to roll it to the start line for mx rewind or to roll it, honestly, th this one's this one's too nice. This one's too nice to race because um, it's just pure perfection. Uh, absolutely, it was a bargain five years ago when it sold for seventy five hundred. Today's today's dollars, I don't know. Um, I don't think this thing could be touched for under ten grand uh, in today's market, and it, and it could be worth double what it was five years ago. It's just that nice. These were the bike to have in eighty two. The yellow Yamahas are the classic color. And we have the whole lineup here, folks. We have the 60, the 80, the 125, the 250, and the 490. All 82s, all restored, all museum quality pieces. Actually, a couple of them are originals. Like this is a very low hour original. 
that was massaged to perfection. Um, come back around this side, Kenny. I want to show him something here. Look, look at the chain. Look at this chain roller right here. Can you zoom in on that? It doesn't look like the chain's ever touched it because guess what, guys? The chain has never touched it. This thing's never been launched off a jump. It's never been uh, through a mud-filled course. Look at the chain roller on the bottom. Man, I, uh, look at the look at the, the 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 nuts on the bottom of the cylinder. Look, zoom in closely on that. Look at the gasket uh, on the carburetor intake uh, and the gasket on on the uh, the cork gasket on the ignition cover. Just pure perfection. This is a, this is what I'll call a no excuses bike. And I guess uh, Barsha's mechanics dad, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, guys. You know, um, you don't become a a, a, a national champ champions mechanic without uh, a, a bloodline of that type of perfection. Shock looks perfect. Junior, is there anything you want to add about this kick-ass machine? Yeah. For a drum brake air-cooled open class bikes, this was the peak of production uh, in the Superior bike out of all the brands. Before liquid cooling came into play, this is the bike to have. Absolutely. Uh, the front brake is a, a double. You can go through. Go ahead. The front brake is a, is a double shoe front brake and the rear uh, drum brake is a full floating rear brake which um, was the best technology of that era disc brakes hadn't come out yet 480 cc's a rip roar and rip your house off the foundation big bore two-stroke power um, I personally had a 490 in 1991 I had a 1990 490 and won the, the uh, gray lock the Netra Greylock Hair Scramble event, which is a two-hour off-road race on, on one of these. These were kick-ass off-road and desert bikes, too. So um, original graphics, just beautiful. Um, I, I'm not even going to take this across the street and rip it through the dirt. It's too freaking nice. We have other 490s here. We have a, we have a, the museum has a 490 for the 500 shootout, but it's one that the frame's been painted uh, red, and, and it's one that was hammered and then rebuilt. Um, bikes like this, hey, if you if you want to take this and race it, it's your prerogative. But um, it's 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 close to irreplaceable at this point. It's 40 years old. Where are you going to find another, essentially brand new, YZ490? You're not, I, I can tell you where. You're not gonna. <laughs> You're not gonna find another one. Kenny and I talk about this all the time. We're going to be kicking ourselves in the ass 20 years from now when these are like the uh, 69 Chevelles and the 63 split window Corvettes that have. The prices are going to continue going up, and they become more and more unobtainable, unobtainium. Look, look at the Whirlpool throttle on this original factory throttle. Take a, take a quick zoom in there. Is there anything else, Junior, you'd want to show? Like like the uh, look at the bolts that hold the triple clamp. Not really, guys. I mean, check it, the, the photos always tell a better story. So if you're interested, look at hey, the big gallery. The yeah, the Junior says the photos, the picture's worth a thousand words. But look at this, the original Yamaha. Most of the time, those have fallen off a decade decades ago. The original, um, it's just absolute perfection. I rode a couple wheelies up the driveway. I don't want to push my luck on this. I don't want to risk damaging it. Um, or dirtying it so it's going back in the museum but thanks for watching if you have any questions give us a call 860-454-7024 love to keep this one in the museum here it's where it belongs thanks for watching god bless america